Hello, it is Storytelling Tuesday. This time I'm talking about an aspect that is often overlooked in storytelling. What are the overlooked roles of a story? Okay, think about it. Which roles can you name? The hero? His adversary? A mentor? Those roles are the obvious ones. Let's talk about those you wouldn't think of, but are as important as the other ones. Right after this. If I tell you the other two roles, you won't flinch, because these two are even more obvious than the story-related roles. I'm talking about the storyteller and the audience. Of course, these two roles are always in the shadow of the story plot. Because they don't appear there, the storyteller brings the story to life. This special role requires a certain neutrality. You might have experienced a storyteller who wasn't very credible. What does that do to the story told? The story suffers by the lacking storyteller and it loses impact on our imagination. We always wonder, can this be true? So even if you are telling your own story, try to stay in the storyteller's neutrality zone. And that brings us to the next aspect of this role, the perspective. If you tell a story from your own view, because you were there, it will be totally authentic. It is as if the audience is there too. And again, there is something that many people just overlook. If you tell the story from your perspective, you don't have to be the hero of the story. You can tell it from the perspective of the companion, from the perspective of the mentor, or what is even more interesting, from the perspective of the adversary. If you tell it from your perspective, you can only talk about what you see and hear and feel, but not about other people's feelings. You might, for example, say, you assume he felt ashamed, but restrict yourself to your perspective. Otherwise, you leave the neutrality zone. If you were not there, you have to tell a third person account. The story may be the same, but the authenticity is not. Tell it if you think you must, but it will be much more interesting for your audience if you invite it to your experience. And this brings us to the next role, the audience. I know we often talk about the audience as if it was a cow and we feed her whatever she likes to keep the cow happy. But in storytelling, the audience can become so much more than an observer. Our audience can be a silent companion in the story. In some films, the hero speaks to his dog or perhaps even to God. Both won't answer. But with this trick, the storyteller reveals what the hero feels at this moment. The audience can even become a mentor in this way. The hero presents the facts to his audience. And by laying out everything in an ordered fashion, the truth reveals itself. The hero gets inspired and changes his ways. Take the audience with you as a silent companion in your next story. You will see it is a good experience for both sides. See you tomorrow.